What is going on everybody? Jack is a zombie here and um today I'm gonna cut my tongue out. No, um so got some bad news. I'm sure you guys have noticed I haven't been on my games. I have been making videos and um I've just kind of been MIA. And the reason that is because my motherboard burned up. Uh four days ago? Something like that. So, I haven't been able to get on the computer at all, except for, uh, I'm not going to show it, something over here I call Frankenstein, it's got like, it's a mess. It's, it's a computer that let me get on Facebook, basically. Um, but I've been without my, my gaming computer for a few days now, and started getting opinions of the night that it happened, so I decided to do something about it. I actually went and... I did another a little purchase. So I have three boxes here. One. One slightly bigger. And the largest one here. Which I have already opened. But that was because I was expecting three items. And I had this big box today. I thought all of the items were going to be in this box. So I opened it just to like see if they were in there. Or to see if it was just one. And it turned out to just be one. So, no. Wow. That tape I put on there really is, is something. Ooh, wee. Um, so I, I went and I got... I, well, I'm, I can't say I went and I got... I ordered a new motherboard. And... Of course, you order a motherboard. Why not just go all out and... Uh, get a, a good old a CPU as well you know so I did order a new motherboard and this is it right here MSI motherboard and shh, if I can figure out how to open this box real quick oh hey look I can open the box real quick try and see if I can show you guys the motherboard Oh yeah, this thing is colossal. I'm not going to take it out of its package right now. But hopefully you can kind of see what's going on here. And um, so I got a new motherboard to replace the one that had fried out on me. And you get a new motherboard, you want a new CPU. You get a new CPU. I don't know which one of these is going to be. You, you want a new CPU. So it's going to... Why would you get something that's of the same quality, you know? You're going to want to upgrade and... And you're gonna want to improve. That that that's my goal of this computer. I want to continually, 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 and never stop. Like I mean, continual upgrade this computer. This isn't the CPU. This is the CPU. And I want to continue to upgrade. Right now, it's worth. I think it's a little under. 2100 so it's it's like between 2000 and 2100 dollars is where its value sits so that's not bad but the way i put it is i want if something should happen to me i don't want to have life insurance i want to i want if i die I want people to be able to sell my computer and pay for my funeral. You know, like, I, ooh, that's some nifty bubbles. I really like Tiger Direct. But, um, I want them to be able to sell my computer to pay for my funeral. I want it to be a massive price. This is the worst packaging I have ever seen for a CPU in my entire freaking life. I'm gonna put this back in here. I was thinking there was another thing inside of there, but there is not. They boned me on this, but it's, I got it as a, a bundle. So, that's what I got. It is a, an AMD 8 core CPU. It's a 3.3 gigahertz. Of course, it's got like an overclock of, I think it was like 3.7, but I don't overclock anything because that really just burns them up faster than anything. So I don't deal with overclock, but eight cores, you really don't need an overclock for any modern games even. I think uh, the biggest game that I'm gonna be playing is Far Cry 4, which 
little spoiler there. Um, that's even asking for a... Uh, I'm about to be really mad because this isn't the fan I ordered. We're going to try it, but I don't. that's not what I ordered. Um, so I got this, just a basic little heat sink. And um, that's going to be getting upgraded also. It didn't come with a fan with a CPU and motherboard combo, so I had to get a fan. So I just got this little guy just to throw on there for now. Um, I am going to be upgrading to liquid cooling for it. But, um, of course, thermal grease. So, motherboard... CPU, fan I didn't order, thermal grease, and install type of dealios. So we're going to get that in there, and I will check back with you guys. Okay, we are back, and I have everything hooked up correctly, I think. So you can see, uh, it's actually a really big motherboard. It's uh, from the very tip top of my computer all the way down. It sits right on top of my uh, my power supply, which I didn't talk about that much, but I did upgrade from a 600 to a 750. And uh, I did that the same day that my motherboard went out. So uh, I got my graphics card and everything plugged up. Heat sink. RAM in there correctly. Um, I don't have my case or anything on yet. Uh, let me see. Turn my monitor so I can see what's going on on my camera here. Um, right there, down in this bundle, you can see, uh, kind of see, that's where my hard drives are. Sorry about the weird look. But, uh, I believe everything is plugged up. I do have all my back cables in, powers in, and, uh, ready to go. But I wanted to go through the final, uh, what I call it final, the debut start. Let's call it debut with you guys. Oh, um, here, this is, this is my old motherboard. Let me grab this real quick. And, um, this right here, if I can get the curtain to stay, this is what burned. You can kind of see it just kind of popped off. But that's my old motherboard compared to my new one. So let's let's try to start her up. And shh, here we go. Oh man. Okay, so we we already got some blue LEDs. Ooh, that's nice looking. Oh yeah, I feel a lot of air coming through here. So that's that's very good. Okay, so that's a good sign. Let's come over to the computers here. What have we got? Please enter setup to configure your system. F1 to run setup, F2 to load default values. Um, let's, let's F1 and just see what we've got here. Oh, that looks nice. Um, you know what, I'm gonna tripod this real quick. Give me a second. <laughs> Over here, I suppose will work. Yeah, we'll go right like that. Okay, so we've got the. Uh... Oh, it shows you temperatures and everything. Keep in mind, this is an eight-core CPU, so it will start heating up pretty quick. Uh, so we got eco mode, which efficient power management profile, which automatically enables power saving options to lower power consumption. Standard, which I'm guessing is just standard, and OC Genie mode, which automatically overclocks the CPU. Don't do that, folks. Get a better CPU that is where you want the overclock to be as the regular speed. Otherwise, you, you really will just burn it up so quickly. Um, let's see what we've got on the main board here. System status, nothing. Doesn't let me click through. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's my, my readouts. Um, advanced. Hardware monitors, USB configurations. Okay, so it, it's basically the... Uh, same as the, the ASRock that I had. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, this looks nice. That's just um, all the different drives and stuff I have on here. But let's just try and... How do I get out of this? Let's just go. Nope. Nope. Standard mode, please. Standard. Standard. Oop. Phone going off. Um, let's just get to... Let's boot. How do I boot? Boot? X E Exodus. Save configuration and reset. Yes. Okay, so uh, restarting the computer here. Okay, we are all loaded up and ready to go. It took quite a while. It was uh, kind of setting up all of my drives and everything. Okay, so my other monitor did come on. You guys can't see it. It's off to your uh, your right here. Actually, let me get to slide you over to here so we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on with this. Um, is there a better place to put this? Oh, jeez. First... Okay. Okay. Stop it now. Stop it. Now, that's an awful angle. What about a little closer to the edge? Nope. Nope. We're going to go with this one. I was right the first time. Okay, so here we are. And desktop. All right. First thing I want to do is open up this guy, GeForce Experience. Did you feel that? Your PC booted up 107% faster than it did before AVG was installed. Was it AVG? Was it? Or was it the A-Core CPU? Anywho, it's. Ooh, this doesn't, it's not rolling very well, is it? But I did just start up, and uh, this program is kind of slow. It's not a good test, people. It's not. I already got Skype and everything popping up on me. I'm probably going to have to go and, uh, it did come with a disk, so I'm probably going to have to go and install some things before it actually uh, gets up to wonderful, wonderful, oh, yes. Before it gets to wonderful level, you know? Okay, look at that. Now that's a good looking rig right there. 8 core processor, GeForce GTX 980, full 1080p, of course. Dual displays, what, what, what else, what could you do to this to make it any better? But, um, what do we want to test this with? Um, I know seven days to die. This game always gave me problems. So let's open up some recording stuff as well. I'll open fraps just so we can get the frames per second in the corner. And we'll see how this runs on 8 core compared to 4. Um, I don't know if you guys remember how it ran with the 4. I believe it was 32 frames per second. So let me, mm, 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 let's get in here nice and snug. Hopefully you guys can see this little number in the corner right now. It says 60. And let's just do a continue game. No, you know what? Let's do a new game. Random generation. Let's just name it something crazy. And I want to turn off zombies. Just for the fact that, okay, yeah, it's off. Just for the fact that I don't feel like dealing with those guys while I'm running this little test. So again, if you guys watching that number, I'm trying to get it aimed a little bit better. Let's see. Is that better? I don't know if that's better. I think it's better. I don't know. We'll see. I should have a bit more processing power though. Double, you know, to be specific. <laughs> Still seems to be taking a long time to load, but again, it is a beta game still. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried about this number staying right where it's at. You know what? I didn't even... Oh, wow. Okay. So you guys can see that little lag spike there, but uh, this is all brand new generation as well. 
but I'm pretty sure I didn't change the settings. So we got a little bit done. This is going to go faster next time. Let's go. Nope, nope, nope. Back. Options, video, yeah. Okay, yeah, everything is cranked right now. Yep, everything's on the highest. Continue game. Let's get right back into there. Start it up. Enter to join the world. So, uh... Ooh, hello. Yeah, we're, we're definitely cranking compared to how we were. Starting to slow down a wee bit, but you can see it keeps jumping right back up to 60. It it spikes real quick when it generates, and then it just pops right back up. But that, that makes sense. I mean, every game you play is going to do that. But uh, the test I did before was with one of these guys on the ground, and just stared at it, and that flicker right there, that slight flicker, that brought me down to 32 frames per second. And right now, you can see we're sitting very comfortably at 50 frames. So I'm going to call that test complete. And we have a wonderful working 8-core CPU. Thank you guys for watching. You know I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.